Hello everybody and welcome to Uprising 144K, I'm Hydrogen Man. Before I begin guys, I am definitely not giving you any medical advice, I'm not making any medical claims. And with that being said, I'm going to give you my opinions about T-cells as far as how you can increase them and what they are and why it's important. Because basically during the holiday season, it doesn't have to just be during the holiday season, but you know during winter months there is a big increase actually in deaths. And it's very important to have a strong immune system, in my opinion. I say this because I have had major problems with my immune system. And I'd get sick at the drop of a hat, and it was absolutely horrible, and I absolutely hated it. And from using these methods that I'm about to share with you, it's absolutely transformed the way that I respond. And it's been such a lifesaver for me. So let's go ahead and get into it. What are T-cells? Let's keep this really simple for you. Basically, T-cells are referred to as T-lymphocytes, okay? They're a crucial component to your body's immune system. Now, the T-cells, from what I can see, appears to be more of a long-term, as a, a, the ability to be able to respond to something in the long term, like your body remembers more deeply as compared to having like antibodies, which don't appear to last as long as T cells. I'll even give you one interesting tip. It appears that things like chemotherapy actually can potentially kill your T cells, which is kind of a major problem unless you can learn how to protect them. I won't go into that into this video unless you want me to comment below and I can maybe make another video about that. It's very important when people are, are dealing with something like cancer, in my personal opinion. Now, if you just want to see something very simple here, it says, knowing the health benefits of T-cells, it is crucial to control their levels through diet choices like turmeric, which I pretty much put in my smoothie every single day, ginger, I put that in the smoothie every day, spinach, same thing, dark chocolate, I put that quite often, um, oily fish, we'll get into why they're saying that in a second, garlic, almonds, and citrus fruit. And let's just go ahead and get into it. I'm not going to, I mean, one of the things that I guess I will tell you also about T cells is that it also helps stimulate other immune cells and controlled immune response. And this is in regards also to that they can also produce cytokines. So all this is very, very important. I'll just skip over the fact like we know it's important, right? But what I usually like to get to is how do I apply it? How do I use it? And this is where I'm going to show you some of my personal opinions. Obviously, we already talked about turmeric, ginger, uh, why they're able to help increase T cells. And certain ingredients in spinach like the flavonoids things like this right the dark chocolate because it's got theobromine or bromine depending on how you want to pronounce it omega-3s is the part that they're focusing on on the oily fish um the only problem with fish these days i hate to say it but go ahead and go look at some lab tests even the wild fish it's just so heavy there's so many heavy metals in them i know people who've eaten seafood for for not even very long time and then they test uh, positive for heavy metals and so one of the things that I personally like to use is actually hemp hearts uh, why hemp hearts well they have pretty much some of the most well-balanced omega-3s and 6s in the world and they're super nutritious they're almost more like a multivitamin in of, of themselves now let's go ahead I also use walnuts um, I can just show you here that walnuts are the only tree nut that is an excellent source of ALA, the plant-based omega-3 essential fatty acid. There's a lot of good research in regards to walnuts too, and they've literally done studies on cancer and how uh, walnuts actually appear to help. And that's all I'll say for now. And almonds because of the vitamin E. So a lot of this, <coughs> excuse me, has actually to do with the nutrients is what I'm noticing. And I always am big at overcoming, and it's not just nutrients, by the way, but it's a huge component in here. And this is one of the reasons that I personally use some specific ingredients or specific things to get all my nutrients up so that I don't have any nutritional deficiencies. Though I will tell you that very large numbers of people in the United States ha are, are deficient in something. It's one of the things that shocks most of my doctors because I do blood work regularly and they see that I don't have any deficiencies and they literally ask me like, how are you accomplishing this? Now, before I get into that, which I'm going to show you how I'm accomplishing it. Uh, molecular hydrogen also I love to combine things that are good and then they together they become even greater than the sum of its parts in this particular one um, molecular hydrogen affects the way it affects stem cells management and tissue regeneration it's a little different here if you guys want a video on stem cells let me know comment below and I will do one of those too and the interesting aspect just to this one this is reminding me already of a testimonial where somebody got burned and they used hydrogen water and you should have seen the results this is somebody actually that i personally know and it was amazing but we'll get into that in some other time because this is another really good and remember these are actually coming from the Nas pubmed and the national library of medicine okay 
Now, let's just show you the important stuff. Hydrogen gas activates CoQ10. Okay, in my opinion, this is why you don't even need to supplement this anymore if you're using hydrogen. In fact, there's a lot of things that you'd never need to supplement anymore, in my opinion, of course, if you were on the correct hydrogen. And I say correct hydrogen because I've seen people actually get worse when they use the wrong type of hydrogen, usually things with chemicals. Um, I'm not a big fan of hydrogen pills. Well, I don't use them at all for many reasons. Um, I personally think that the, the concerns are more for long-term research as compared to short-term usage, um, as compared to long-term usage. But that's a whole other thing. Let's just get into what hydrogen can do if used properly. It can restore exhausted T cells. This is, again, super, super important. I think it's awesome. On top of that, um, and it, it's showing actually different types of T cells that it appears to restore, but also leading to better and I think you pronounce this nevolumab, which is basically a, is a drug that is used for, for cancer. It's like for immunotherapy, basically. So it's actually improving the outcomes in patients with lung cancer. And in some of my protocols, I will say that for people who choose to go down the conventional route or they try to do something like immunotherapy, my protocols do appear to still enhance the outcome. And here the science is obviously have, has caught up. And they're seeing what, in my already personal opinion, I already kind of knew. But this is great. It's great that we have the science to support it. I think it's important. And you combine that with the proper foods and you combine that with the proper nutrients. Well, let me show you how I do it. So this is one of the things that I use. This is one of my favorite things. I put in my smoothie every day. It's called Power Shake. Okay. You can find this exact product on the website called, uh, what is it called? Uh, I shop purium.com i'll try to put a link down below if you want a discount code on these you can use a discount code uprising 144k this is what i use why do i use it well it's odd, oddly enough it's not even designed to be a multivitamin this is actually supposed to be to get all your nutrients almost like a food supplement but the interesting part is if you look at the nutrients in here it looks like a multivitamin but it comes from food and really clean food, by the way. I've tried a lot of other products and I actually switched to this one because of the cleanliness. The lab reports showed that they were extremely clean and this is why I use it. And I only recommend to you guys what I personally use. So this is one of the things I use. The one thing that you're gonna realize though is that you can never get proper or adequate amounts of vitamin D or D3 from food. So that's this is the only other thing that I pretty much supplement. It's that powder, which is all food, and then this is Ionic D3. Now, Ionic, in my opinion, is second best. The best is always going to be food. But again, it, you just can't get enough of it, in my personal opinion, from your food. And the food that has it is unfortunately quite contaminated these days. So I use this. They're just some drops that I put in my smoothie. And my smoothie ends up becoming my multivitamin. And again, doing the blood work and proving to myself that it is working and that I'm, all my nutrients are really up. And, you know, one of the interesting parts that I forgot to share, too, in regards to T-cells, yes, they seem to last a lot longer in your body for years as compared to weeks or months when you talk about something like antibodies. But one of the important parts, because I really think that I had an issue with my T-cells, and I've clearly been able to resolve it. And I really think that's one of the reasons that I share this information with you guys. And I say this because... People, let's see here, without healthy T cells, affected people experience recurrent infections. This is something that also oh, happened to me. I used to get infections all the time. It was very frustrating. That lasts for a long time. And that was also something that was happening to me. They did last for a long time, beginning in infancy. infancy. And that is something that was happening to me when I was little. And it was, it was terrible. You know, no little kid wants to be sick. And even as I got older, I just continued to get sick all the time. And it, and it was horrible. And I changed my lifestyle, obviously. And I was able to bounce back from numerous medical conditions that I had. I mean, I was an absolute mess, guys. So that's why I think that my protocols really showcase that they really work. Because they really worked with me and they really worked for a lot of people. I'll just say in my opinion, obviously. But that's what I've seen in my own life. Um, and so with that being said... Uh, I'll just I'll leave it at that you guys go in and comment below if you want any more details in regards to this I'll try to put links down below for the power shake if you want to use it way better in my opinion than just pills because this is food remember the research shows that it appears basically that the body responds better to food as compared to just you know some synthetic pill that somebody made and that makes sense because of our ancestors and, the, and ancestors ancestors and, you know, the body has been utilizing the nutrients from food for a very long time. And for, 
you know, us to just all of a sudden switch it up all of a sudden. The body just doesn't respond the same. So with that being said, thanks for watching. Don't forget to support the channel. Give the video a thumbs up. Um, don't forget to subscribe as it's free. And I'll see you guys next time on the next one.